EV charging station, NS, from Victron Energy. So this is the second generation, let's talk about it. Nice to see you back at the CS Tech. Today we're going to talk about Victron Energy EV Charging Station NS. NS stands for no screen because this new model don't have any screen anymore. You still have your screen with you anytime because you'll still use the Victron Connect app that connect with the charging station via Bluetooth and of course you can make all the settings just from your phone. Also, if this charging station is connected to your local Wi-Fi, you still can access from anywhere. Basically, you just need to forward some ports, but you can still do anything from your web browser. And even more, if you have the whole Victron ecosystem, of course, you can access the charging station from basically anywhere. It's not my first unboxing. We still have a Romanian channel, CS Tech, and of course, we already made unboxing over there. And after this unboxing will finish, I will still install this charging station in my own system. Of course, you can go to our website, cstech.ro from Romania, RO and there you can see my whole system I have a whole system with Victron with two charging station this first model and of course will be added this charging uh, this new model charging station I charge two electric cars and of course I still have a Fronius and I still have a Volkswagen ID3 battery pack installed my system is very complex you can see over there it's live and you can check how this charging station works in real life because I still use it and I use it I have I think five megawatts of energy charged to my Tesla I think six, one year, let's say one year. In one year I charge with Victron in my Tesla from Sun, only from Sun, around five megawatts. So let's make the unboxing and let me show you how this beauty looks in reality, because it's a beauty. First of all, what you find inside is a quick start guide. All the information that you can find over here, I will try to explain you here to be more, more uh, precise. First of all, let me, what? Let me remove the charging station. And I still have some accessories over here. Let me put it and let's go. Okay, I will put the charging station here and let's talk about accessories. First of all, this is the mounting uh, wall bracket. If I can say like this, you just put it in your wall, fit it and in the end you can just fit the charging station over there. And from inside you have two screws over here that fit the charging station and keep it safe over there. Let me put over here. You have here, this is a uh, cap if you can say like that it's will be use it to connect your gun at the end uh, sorry this way so just fit it and put the gun over there so it's nice to have it and of course we have here some mounting, mounting accessories and of course let me show you what I have over here I have a sticker this sticker has a QR code and of course has the Wi-Fi password the MAC address Bluetooth pin and of course anything that you need in order to connect with a charging station let me put it or here and let me show you this beauty take a closer look oh this way this is the new Victron charging station NS first of all it's very slim and of course what I like at this new model is because they have a new design new design allows me to put a cable after the charging is done like that so it's simple uh, hang for my uh, cable as you can see over here this is blue this front plate is blue because in the new model you have the possibility to exchange it for that one that has the white house they want to have a white charging station and for those who put it into the garage and they want to have a blue or black cover they still can buy it this will be removed it you have to screw on the bottom let me show you in reality how you can exchange it is very very simple just remove the screws and once you do that the front plate will be removed it you can just remove it and replace it with a new one. Once you remove this foam plate, also you can see you have the wire connecting over here. So you can connect the charging station to one face and even in three face. But I will tell you more in a few seconds. First of all, let me tell you a story because I start the video and I promise I will tell you a story and I give you a motivation story why you should buy Victron instead of buying another charging station. First of all, once you buy the electric cars, you spend a lot of money on the car. So you don't have rest of the money you don't have enough money in fact to buy a charging station and you prefer to charge the car with your om charging station or even buy a chinese one because it happens all the time to buy a chinese charging station they are good i don't say they are not good but it's not useful in the future because 
when you buy an electric car you don't think today what happened today you think what happened tomorrow and what happened in the future so in the future your plan with electric car is to save money and in order to save money you need to charge more cheaper and of course you need to charge more smart and this is the beauty where Victron comes through first of all once you buy the car I recommend you to buy a Victron charging station even you don't have at this moment or at that moment you don't have a solar system installed in your house first just buy the charging station charge your car as a normal station because Victron Energy even Victron Energy it's a tech company and they made inverters and other other solar uh, system you can use this charging station without having any other products in your home you just need to have the charging station the charging cable the car and of course a phone to connect and start the charging so once you buy the car buy the Victron charging station we use it as a normal charging station this one can handle around 22 kilowatts so if you have a, a Zoe or of course if you have an EQS a Tesla Model S Model 3 you can still charge it with a high power for Tesla things are discutable because you have uh, four, some Tesla has 11 kilowatts of charging other have 16 for example I charge my car with 16 kilowatts in two phases the beauty of Victron like I told you earlier is you can charge and use it as a normal charging station so it's an investition that you will make but in the near future you will notice that you need to pay for that energy that you put in your car so the next logical and smart step is to install a solar system once you install a solar system you want to charge the energy from the sun and move it to your car basically to do this you need a Victron ecosystem or of course you can use the energy directly from the grid but you want to be cheaper you want to be economical so you use the energy from the sun but if you don't own a Victron charging station and you own a solar system from Victron energy you notice that the energy from the solar system is sent send it to the car but in some cases the sun is going through the clouds or it start raining or it's starting to be shiny or cloudy outside and the production is going down once the production is going down all the energy that your car needs come from the grid so in that cases you need to pay for that energy if you decide to use Victron energy charging station with the Victron ecosystem you will notice that you have an auto function that auto function gives you the possibility to receive energy from the sun and send it to the car once the sun is going through the clouds and the excess of the energy is going down the charging station will communicate with the car and reduce the charging level to the level that is coming from the sun okay in some cases you need to go so you just press the manual mode and of course the charging station will charge at a full power but energy is going to uh, be taken from the grid or even from the from the solar system basically the charging station will mix the amount of the energy from the solar system and of course with the access of, of and of course with the energy from the grid sorry my English is not so good in some cases technical stuff is killing me in somehow because we are not an English speaker natively okay so this is the beauty with Victron charging station by the car invest in a charging station and in the end invest in the solar system in this way you have the whole ecosystem you will charge energy the car with energy uh, from the sun you will charge smarter because you can set up to receive like i told you earlier only the excess of the energy now we're gonna talk about this charging station function because i told you what you can do that let me show you in fact what you can do first of all like i told you earlier once you remove the front cap you can see here the connection this uh, charging station has three phase has a neutral and of course have the earth or grounding cable over here what you need to know what, from the beginning is that you can use this charging station even in one phase basically if in this moment you don't have three phase uh, at your location and you have only one phase you can still charge your car with 7.5 kilowatts of energy basically it's making maximum power that can be delivered in one phase in the future if you decide to upgrade your connection to the grid and you're still going in three phases of course you can use this charging station without any problem so this is the only thing that you must do just make a hole over here I already make a small hole over here put the cable through and connect it to this connection point once you do this you will still need to access the charging station but I think I will make another video and I will try to show you how you can set up this charging station using only your mobile phone so this is the new Victron charging station NS of course I want to make a short recap and tell you you don't need a Victron energy devices in your home in order to use it you don't need to have a PC or something like this in order to turn off or turn on the station you just need a mobile phone when you have a full a fully Victron system in your house you can charge the energy from the Sun 
you can move it from the sun and of course send it to your car but you can do it smarter and of course the charging station can load balancing cannot will it still have an option inside that not overload your uh, principal connection and of course you can still use it uh, as a standalone for many of you that ask if they can use this charging station to other brands for example you own a Fronius and you want to use Victron because you like the design you like this new charging station of course you can use it it's not any limitation but if you want to use the excess from the Fronius to this charging station and send it to your car you still need some accessories from Victron first of all you need the smart meter mounted at the feed feeding point because you need to tell to the charging station what energy is going and what energy is going out so Another device that you need is a servo, a Cherbo JX, basically a JX device that communicates with the smart meter and of course via internet communicate to, with charging station and send information from the smart meter to Victron, Cherbo and of course to the charging station. In this way you can use the excess, the excess of the energy from your charging station to, to your car. It's not uh, the cheapest way but it's possible but keep in mind once you invest in a charging station invest in smart meter invest in Cherbo GX the next logical step is invest in uh, Victron inverters uh, solar chargers and even in batteries so this is Victron energy charging station sorry if I don't speak English so well in some cases I lose myself but I'm trying to be more clear over here in the end I want to talk about protection because as you can see you don't have any protection and you cannot mount protection over here is not recommended you must install the protection in your fuse box and for protection if you live in Europe you have the e ETI basically it's a differential protection and of course it also has a short circuit protection basically it's two in one device these are made in Slovenia they are very good we are using this one it's rated to 32 amps is uh, 30 milliamps for protection and of course I have B curve in order to protect the, the charging station from I don't know from something bad so it's a must when you buy the charging station it's a must to to protect it another thing that you must keep in mind when you buy the charging station you need to have a ground connection because this charging station detects when the ground is missing and cannot be started and it's a fail safe mechanism from Victron that not let you to use the charging station without any protection because in some cases it can be fatal imagine through this cable is going uh, 22 kilowatts so it's not safe to to use it without any protection without ground and of course without any differential protection okay this was my video for today I hope you understand something and like I told you in our each video if you have some question and if you want to transmit us something just write in the comment area below and of course we'll be happy to answer to this question if you want to see more video like this don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell and of course hit the like button and see you in the next one bye